Don't you think it would be amazing if we could record our phone calls or if we could download third-party applications on our iPhones? You could argue that none of these are now available for your iPhone, but rumor has it that iOS 17 will bring us all of these. There are other features to expect, so join us as we discuss how these new changes will make you enjoy your phone. Redesign Keyboard and Messages App Let's get one thing straight. The iOS keyboard is lame. It's sluggish, it makes mistakes regularly, and it won't always propose contractions or learn new ones. The auto-suggest function often generates meaningless suggestions and is noticeably slower than the best Android phones. But what is a keyboard redesign without a revamped messages app to correspond? Majin Boo claims that in 2023, the messaging applications would get a full redesign. The leaker claims that the iOS 17 will include augmented reality, AR, conversation capabilities, and will have a redesigned home screen, video clips, chat groups, and even AR chat features. And more on this AR down the road. Anyway, Majin Boo's tweet read, According with my resource, Apple is working on a new version of iMessage completely renewed. New home, chat rooms, video clips, and new chat features in AR. It should be released next year along with the new headset. Next Gen CarPlay During WWDC 2022, Apple showcased CarPlay's next version, which would allow for multiple displays, widgets, and integration with in-car features, including the temperature control system, FM radio, and the instrument cluster. Apple has said that the first automobiles to formally confirm compatibility for the next-generation CarPlay experience would arrive in late 2023. In addition, iOS 17 or later is recommended for the associated iPhone. Apple claims that Acura, Audi, Ford, Honda, Jaguar, Land Rover, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Porsche, Volvo, and other automakers have signed on. Apple Headset Support Apple is expected to release its highly anticipated AR slash VR headset this year, and the next iOS 17 will almost probably have compatibility for the gadget. All of your Apple devices will look great with Apple's future VR and AR headsets. Futuristic equipment. Not to In order to enable Apple's augmented reality slash virtual reality headgear, a new software that is comparable to the Watch app but with expanded capabilities may be launched. Bloomberg reports that the release date for the helmet is set for 2023. Due to the new headset's wireless connectivity with other Apple devices, it will be crucial that all of the included software runs without a hitch. Record Calls Has the thought crossed your mind that Apple could one day include call recording? What did you say? Certainly have. It's been a long-standing snub on Apple's part not to include native call recording in the iPhone's phone app. While this may already be achieved via the use of third-party software, we would prefer a native thus Apple-provided solution. But in any case, we'll talk about iOS and third parties in the next section. Call recording might be useful for listening back on or referencing important points. Third-party app stores. According to Mark Gurman of Bloomberg, Apple may allow other app stores on the iPhone in order to comply with the European Union's Digital Markets Act. According to the speculation, the changes will enable iPhone users to download apps from stores other than Apple's App Store. We understand why some of you would appreciate it and why others might not. I assume you have a preference. The EU's regulations will surely make iPhones seem like Android devices. For example, the European Union has approved a rule mandating the use of USB-C, which will force Apple to abandon the lighting port. Obviously, we'll have to comply. We have no choice, as, as we do around the world, to comply to uh, local laws. By the way, if you're interested in learning more phones and your favorite gadgets, you should subscribe to our channel right now. So, moving on. German reports that Apple is hoping to roll out the modifications as part of an upgrade to iOS 17, which might come in the form of a minor software revision such as iOS 17.1. There will be no exceptions to the rule until its complete implementation in March of 2024, with Apple potentially being obliged to let customers in Europe utilize other app stores, Customers in that region may soon be able to download programs without going via the App Store. Apps installed by users via non-Apple channels would not be subject to Apple's 15 to 30% developer fee. But we won't be surprised if Apple still intends to earn a charge from developers anyway. 
That slimy bugger. When additional nations enact laws comparable to Europe's Digital Markets Act, Apple may decide to make the sideloading updates available to consumers outside of the EU as well. Supported Devices Apple no longer supports the iPhone 7 as a device that can download iOS 16. iPhone 8, which is already more than five years old, is definitely the inline for discontinuation. So here is the list of compatible gadgets that should soon be updated to iOS 17. 1. iPhone 15 2. iPhone 14 3. iPhone 13 4. iPhone 12 5. iPhone 11 6. iPhone XS 7. iPhone XR 8. iPhone X 9. iPhone SE 2020 10. iPhone SE 2022 In June of 2023, during Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, we might expect to get a sneak peek at iOS 17 iOS 17 will be made accessible to developers for testing after WWDC, with a public beta set to launch in late July. The final version of iOS 17 will debut in September 2023 with the next generation of iPhones, after a beta testing phase. Anyway, kindly share with us the feature you are eager to see in the comments section below. Thanks for joining us today, and see you next time.